What's up everybody? It is Tevin Gray, your boy, back again with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Lionel Messi on Prior to the Pros. So for anybody that knows a thing or two about football or soccer, as we call it here in North America, I'm sure that you know a thing or two about Lionel Messi as well. But for anybody that doesn't, stay tuned and watch this video because there are some very surprising things that may just inspire you to keep following your dreams. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Lionel Messi was born June 24th, 1987 in Rosario, Argentina. At a very, very young age, he started developing a true passion for the sport of soccer. This passion that was burning inside of him was mostly due to the fact that everybody in his family loved soccer to death. But it also came from playing for countless hours outside with his cousins and his older brothers, testing his limits each and every day on the soccer field. And because his brothers were older than him and a bit more advanced, he always had to try to match their standards of play. And that's what really pushed Lionel to be a better player. Another huge influence that would shape Lionel's passion for the game of soccer came from his grandmother on his mother's side. She would attend all of his practices and his games and for a very long time in his childhood, she was his biggest supporter. At the very young age of six, Messi finally joined his first soccer club, the Vizario Club, where he would play for six years. Now within this six year period, he scored somewhere near 500 goals, which is insane for any kid. But because of Messi's style of play and his relentless effort to score a goal for his team, it seemed like it was easy for him to score 500 goals in that six year period. But throughout that six year period, it wasn't always good news. Within that six years, something tragic happened. At this time, Lionel Messi got one of the biggest scares that he would ever get. He found out that he was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, which would you know, limit his growth into adulthood. And by limiting his growth, he believed that he may never play professional soccer, which was his childhood dream for as long as he could remember. The mere thought of not being able to play out his childhood dreams and, and go on to be a pro soccer player really destroyed Lionel. And because of this, he got depressed and felt as though he didn't want to go on any longer. Now, of course, there was a treatment for this, but the treatment would cost somewhere around, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month. And for the Messies, that was money that they just did not have. So the club that he had been playing for for the last six years came to the rescue. Or at least that's what the Messies had thought. Initially, the club had agreed to help foot the bills for the Messi family. But then things changed and they turned their back and didn't wind up paying a cent. So the Messi family who had once looked to this soccer club for help and thinking that Lionel would get a second chance to live out his childhood dreams were once again devastated and Lionel was once again depressed. Until the year 2000, when Mr. Charlie Rexack, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, Charlie Rexack, Mr. Charlie Rexack seen uh, the young Messi play and immediately wanted to sign him to FC Barcelona's youth program. But there was some more bad news because at this time it was unheard of pretty much to sign a young foreign player in Lionel Messi to the FC Barcelona youth club. But Mr. Rexac was relentless. 
he really believed in Messi's you know, game. And so he pushed his luck to the fullest. And after pushing his luck to the max, in December 2001, only a couple of months after he had first seen young Lionel Messi play, he was able to sign Messi. And this would change young Messi's life forever. So in February of 2001, the whole family moved to Barcelona to help young Lionel pursue his dream of being a professional soccer player. And the FC Barcelona organization put the Messi family up in an apartment that was very close to the stadium for convenience. They also agreed to fully help in footing the bill for Lionel Messi's growth hormone deficiency. And this really helped the Messi family out a ton because now Lionel was able to just focus on his dream of playing soccer and becoming a professional soccer player one day. But yet again, some bad news had come up. And for Lionel's first year of being in Barcelona, he was an, unable to play in any games with his new club. And this was due to contractual conflicts that had happened with his old club back in Rosario, Argentina. So once again, without playing soccer and having to adjust to a brand new city, Lionel Messi found it very hard to fit in. And this led to once again, him being very, very depressed. And to make matters even worse, he had to put up with his mother his two older brothers and his little sister leaving and going back home to Rosario, Argentina, leaving him with only his father. So on top of being depressed, this also left Lionel to feel very homesick. And although he was with his father, he really missed the rest of his family. But thanks to God, these feelings did not last forever. In February, 2002, after a full year of Messi not being able to play in club matches, he was finally able to once again compete and do what he loves the most. Enrolling in the Royal Spanish Football Federation and finally completing his growth hormone deficiency treatment, Lionel Messi felt on top of the world. And when he finally got on the field, he truly flourished dominating opponents like he always had. Way back in 2002-2003 season, in his first season playing with the FC Barcelona Youth Club, he was the leader in scoring with 36 goals in 30 games. And he truly dominated every opponent that came against him. And each and every year, it truly only got better from there for Lionel. Now, this is where I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. For everybody that hasn't been living under a rock for their entire life, we all know that Lionel Messi has destroyed the pro ranks and he's an absolute monster. So shout out to him. And for everybody that is in relentless pursuit of their dreams, keep pushing. This is a true testament that you can make it through anything if you keep pushing and stay focused so shout out to you and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please share the video leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this i truly appreciate everybody that watches the video and i thank you from the bottom of my heart but this is where the video ends it has been your boy tevin gray uh, with another prior to the pros peace